Corey Park in the building, and I wanted to bring them in just to, dis- to kind of describe who they are, uh, where they're from, what they do. Uh, I definitely want to give you your scene. flowers yeah. because you're moving and grooving on the internet, and that's not the easiest you. thing to do, you know? I appreciate you. Been there, done that, and yeah. uh, still doing it, so keep up the good work. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. It takes a lot of takes a lot of hard work and late nights you know absolutely what I'm saying? content creator is not as easy as people think it is you yeah. know you, you have to make your content really fucking good so how you feeling you were sick last time you, um, yeah now? i'm better i feel way better you I'm know glad. that bullshit is uh going around again you it know is. but they don't even have any cdc regulations on any of that stuff now so they're like mm-hmm. it's a common cold you go home fucking take some nyquil and call it a night and then you're back to work the next day i'm like damn exactly. this is a country that made us all stay home from work for like two years you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. pretty wild it ain't, it ain't that big of a deal no more it seemed like so yeah it exactly so who are you where are you from sir i'm from Manteca, california kt from Oregon and Park, you know what I'm saying? Oregon and Park is streets in Manteca. It's okay. Oregon, Oregon Street and Park Avenue. And that's um, how you got your name for your platform? It, yep, it's Oregon and Park Entertainment. But it's 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 promoting, it's marketing artists. You know, it's it started off as a me and my city, you know what I'm saying, and promoting people, mm-hmm. you know, where I was from, who rap, getting the website, you know, but eventually I wanted to accumulate into... A record label. Okay, Ooh. nice. So, what's the name of the label? Oregon and Park. Oregon and Park label oh, yeah. re- uh, entertainment. So that's super dope. You can tie the the platform into launching your own artists. Like mm-hmm. that's the whole idea, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's, it's like it's like I'm gonna be encapsulating different uh, parts of the game, including you know using the the promoting to try to help break artists, mm-hmm. and then you get your own artist in the mix too as you you know promoting everybody and doing the media thing Mm -hmm. you have your own placement you know what i'm saying within that right you know that's specific to you so you can keep kind of keep it in the family but also keep it like you can share the wealth Uh at the same time and i want to announce to my city to everybody in the 209 you know what i'm saying 510 and the 916 man i got my own artist coming strictly oregon and park you know what I'm saying? We finna come. I'm finna manage them. Finna give them the motion. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be rapping. You know what I'm saying? And me and my brothers is finna be getting to it. So we come into the game and we coming strong. You know what I'm saying? And you know, with Oregon and Park on the team, we ain't playing and we serious. That part. You know what I'm saying, let's go. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that um, you definitely take this seriously. And it is a job, like being uh, any manager of any uh, platform or outlet is really hard work. So um, it's definitely felt I can uh, I can appreciate your hard work and your pain. I, I've done Thank it you. myself. Um, as far as... Did you have any podcasts that you like to watch other than your own? Like, I like to make sure people give their flowers, too, to what they're looking at. Yeah, I watch academics. A lot of kind of what I'm doing is, like, academics, you know, towards, geared towards, you know, um, Northern California. Okay. You know, not so messy. Like, I'm not going to be the nigga that's... (laughs) You know, talking about other hoods. Politics. You okay. know, uh, yeah, politic and trying to be in the funk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't do either. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I got my I got my own shit going on where I'm from that ain't got nothing to do with a lot of... Because I'm from my own... You feel me? We got our own thing going on. You right. You feel me? I'm not from Stockton. I'm not from Oakland. I'm not from Sac. So I got my own shit. So it puts me in a special position being out here to where I can navigate with these other side artists and mm-hmm. artists from one side who don't like, and I can navigate and people be, okay, he's, you know, being neutral. You're neutral. You don't have, yeah, yeah. You're, there's no stake in the game for you. Yeah, right? yeah. So that. it puts me in a, in a good situation to keep rising. So fuck with me. That's kind of how I uh, started. That's what I wanted to be when I got into this whole shit was like, I want to support everybody. Mm-hmm. damn near everybody so it works out because mm-hmm. they do end up showing love back and then your circle just gets bigger and bigger and bigger so mm-hmm. you just gotta keep plugging who'd you bring with you today so this this akbar right That's here awesome. you know what i'm saying matter of fact i think i think we should get into this song you ready for that i'm absolutely ready akbar, for it why don't you why don't you, why don't you come oh. to the to the center center table real quick yes mickey is always ready for the songs that's what always we do ready. here 
Hey, what up, what up? You just got to tap in on the website. It's in my bio. You can book your interviews there. Akbar, where are you from, sir? What's I'm your, from, your, I'm from your L.A. Akbar? Originally, I'm from L.A. I came out here in Sacramento like seven years ago. Um, I moved out here with my moms. And uh, I've been in Sacramento just going crazy ever since. I'll be back and forth everywhere. Okay. And I'll just be touching different states and doing different things. So what artists influenced you uh, musically? Like, what am I going to hear in this song that you're going to play for us? Um, really, for influence, I really don't got many. I just started making music about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I just really stick to myself so, um, so I could be more original. You Do know, you have, I, like, somebody that made the beat that you want to shout out or... Production or um, for your production label wise, manager. <laughs> for production wise, shout out to Pape. You know, what I mean, Pape. He's he's one of my engineers. Right. Shout out to Gabriel. He's one of my engineers at Studio Sixteen. Um, yeah, that's about. I them like too. to make sure I, I they know that too. it takes them to make the songs, right? Right. What's the song name that we're going into? This song that we're getting into is called No Reason. It's just me, just shit, being young and fly and just. No reason. Getting to the pape and doing stuff for no reason. Okay, you know? <laughs> that's the way it should be, right? right? You're getting fluky with it, and it's called no effort, like no reason yeah, at all. Yeah, no reason. Just I just wake up with and it. be on autopilot, and I just go buy stuff for no reason. Just you know? fluky with it by nature, baby. <laughs> Down there in Oakland, that's where I think I encountered them for the first time. So mm -hmm. shout out to the fire market. Shout out to the hey, Twisted Candy Company. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is. Yes, I was yeah. there when you were recording. You heard studio. yourself just yeah, now? Yeah. It was, was in the studio was like, what, track. 3 a.m. probably. It was just vibes, and we just, we had to switch the beat a couple times, but we made it work, though. You are know? you a writer or are you a freestyler? Uh, I do both. So sometimes I punch in, sometimes I write. Uh, most of the times I'm just doing both. Um, like, or Parker tell you, like, sometimes I get in the studio and just get inspired in the studio. So I'll write some t some parts of it, mm -hmm. and when I get in there and I start feeling it, I get to, you know, just punching in on it, just punching in, punching in. Some of the greats, that's what they do. Chippas, mm -hmm. that's what he does the most. He's yeah, a I love punching in because it's more original. It's more from the mind. Yeah. I feel like that's where you get the most. Creativity. Right. Yeah, it is fun to, like, fluke with the words. Um, if I were a different, if it were a different era and I was a different person, I would be a rapper, but... I'm not. Um, how do they find you, sir? How do they uh, find you? Can you can find me on Instagram, Uzi Boys underscore Akbar. Um, and that's about that's about all I got. Where do you, uh, do you do you have music out on uh, streaming? I have music out on YouTube. Okay. Uh, same thing, Uzi Boys underscore Akbar. You can find my songs there. And um, I got about a good uh, five six songs on there right now. There's no reason out. No reason is out. Okay. No so they can go out. watch that on YouTube. They could definitely go watch. Make that sure y'all tap in on him, man. This is uh this is the collab that we call. Or, well, I say Ori Park. Is it Ori Park? Am I saying it wrong? Because I'd be it's fucking Ori people's Park. names up. This might. It's like history for me to do that. No, Ori Park. Ori Park. Okay, so that's super dope to know. And then uh, we do have one more song from them, Eddie. So let's play that in, and then we will come back in and talk about it. Okay, call the guy. Is he outside? No, he's going to be... Oh, on the phone? Yeah. What's the name of the second one? Um, fuck You Talking About. Fuck You Talking About. You see it? 580 Rail. Okay. Oh, I know 580. You know him? Yeah. All right, Akbar, let me get this for you. Man. Yep. Hello? Okay, you recording? You got that, okay, Eddie? we in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Hello? So tell the folks a little bit about your, um, yeah, what you're talking about. He's going to intro it. Song. The gentleman on the phone is going to intro it. So this one right here, this one featuring my boy, JT Gutter, and I am 580 Rail. You know what I'm saying? This one called Fuck Is You Talking About? Uh, old School Peak the Sneak Remake. You know what I'm saying? This one, uh, shit, we just was vibing on this one, giving that Bay Area feel. You know what I'm saying? So I homage to okay. one of the legends. What up, Rail? What up? Mickey, what's poppin'? What's handin' though? Man, same old shit, man. Trying to get to it. Keep on going, man. I see you. Let's knock it out. We're gonna listen to it now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> real, real, real. All right, got away, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look, I like.
like my ones on the floor, I like my hundreds and bands. Fuck is you talking about? Bitch, you know I'm the man. Mouth full of rocks and a Glock in my pants. Do exactly what I want, you niggas do what you can. Hey, a lot of niggas tell me what I ain't gonna be. How you got the nerve to hate what, what your the fuck you talking about? I'm a stand up guy, bet the, the bank on me. About? And I just made a place so all drinks on me. Uh. Spoke person for my section, Mac represent. For my East Oak and Bay Area residents. Politicking like politicians elected in. Campaigning with this game like the president. Ay, put me in the ring, I take a jab at it. I've been clean, boy, I drop you like a bad. I have it one, two, poop, pow, bing, it ain't mathematic. You a cat that it burnt out like a crack addict. Or money on a beat, shout out fast traffic. Since a nigga got released, you on a bandwagon. Bitches wanna fuck a P, quit panhandling. It's a fee for this D, baby, cash at me. I see specialists, a getaway artist. Hit the dash on the ass soon as I take it out of park, bitch. Hit 90 and a 30, it's a hot pursuit. Against storm coming traffic, so they stop pursuit. And if it's real love, throw a bag at me. I can't fuck with everybody. Niggas crash happy. Little bitch call me daddy like her last daddy. I've been hustling since you was doing the cat daddy. I'm talking Bay Bridge, Golden Gate, fast traffic. And the way I work the wheel, it ain't no traffic. Brand new Vizio, you don't want no static. You ain't rip your flesh, that's the holes through your fucking fabric. She keep blowing up my phone, dick fantastic. Gym nasty, handstands and acrobatics. I done stuff so much work, I can see she plastic. So I don't stay for long, I just hit and pass it. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't get money. What the fuck is they talking about? Huh? What the fuck is you talking about? What's up with these niggas got it? What the fuck is you talking about? I like my boys on the floor. I like my hundreds and bands. Fuck is you talking about? Bitch, you know I'm the man. Mouth full of rocks and a Glock in my pants. Do exactly what I want. You niggas do what you can. Hey, a lot of niggas tell me what I ain't gonna be. How you got the nerve to hate? What the fuck is you talking about? I'm a stand up guy. Bet the bank on me. And I just made a place so all drinks on me. Too, brother, so you know I'm gonna make the real out of them playing your Yee. song. You feel me for you? Fuck is you talking about? I feel you all the way. I tell them where they can find you, brother. And they can find me on any streaming platforms, man. 580 Real, no space, man. 580 Real, y'all you know talking about? That's make cool. sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got a bunch of movies on there and some more on the way. Nice. All right, thank Good you. Real. Looking real, man. We finna, I'm finna be back in touch with you. Mom, I appreciate you. Appreciate you too. Yay. Right, Thank you. Yeah. It's all good. Stamped out on him. It's all good. I know I know how to reach him. Um so as far as let's talk about the future for uh the platform. What do you got planned? What you working on? All right. So right now, you know what I'm saying, we crossing over into kind of more of the popular locals. Okay. And um now that we established that Next, we want to, you know, doing shows. Okay. You know, um, so promoting like events. Park presents. Yes. Okay. But right now, what we do as well is we do posters, we hand out flyers, um, creative content such as things of this nature, like okay. how you see, like a making reels. And yeah. Oh, Ma oh, content. Right. Yeah, making mm -hmm. content, um, finding creative ways to help, you know, push the artist's music you know, through the internet and with the feet on the ground, you know what I mean? And for events as well, passing out flyers for events, putting up posters, spreading the word, Street creating team. content. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah. need that. I mean, and it's not even around anymore like it used to be. Street team is smart. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of people will take advantage of that because they don't want to get out there and put the foot to ground. Like, it's, yeah. they don't want to put the posters up, but yeah. I'll damn sure hire somebody else to do to it. To do it, exactly. You know? yeah. For real, for real. Um, what do you say as far as if you had ten thousand dollars to invest into your career right now, extra extra ten k? What would you put it into? What would you buy for your business? For surely, business? for surely, um, buying a popular artist to come perform. There you go. At a venue, and then sell them tickets. Get them tickets. <laughs> put them flyers up. Get them tickets. Shout out my boy Sean F. I'm gonna for surely hit up Sean F. Yep. And we gonna make a we gonna make a movie. Yep. You know what I'm saying ten bands is gonna get a is gonna make a movie movie for the whole city. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't give me ten bands. Shout out to Manteca in yes. this mother. Um. So okay, as far as like uh, they you told them where that they can find you. Are you acquiring new clients? So if people wanted to book you to do stuff, you got to go. Oh yeah, I'm always ready to work. Always ready to make content. 
always ready to find new ways to help promote artists and creative ways to put them out there. We on a um, you know um, by need basis, whereas someone will tap in and want to see what I can do for them. Um, really, what I like to do is putting up the posters, doing the flyers, spreading the word, feet on the ground, you know. But I also do the street stuff. So I mean, the internet stuff. So, so basically, just showing your worth, like showing what you can do for the brand. Yeah, I'm always acquiring new clients. I mean, for your company, perhaps, you know, making content, putting up posters, you know, put, spreading the word to my people, you know developing new ways to you know reach audiences absolutely shit i know that um when i first started doing this it was so it was before like all these modalities existed so Mm -hmm. i was out there i didn't sleep Mm -hmm. i was a creature of the night Mm -hmm. i didn't sleep because you had to do everything you had to be up 24 hours a day Mm -hmm. now you can actually utilize some of the technology like to do stuff for you so right I think we're in a great position as far as like where you're at with it because mm-hmm. you're just getting started so mm-hmm. you'll be able to see both kind of both sides of the game mm-hmm. um, but digital is where we're at right now so mm-hmm. it's d- I like the artist I have coming in after you he's all vinyl he's all like old school and I'm gonna ask him the difference between like benefits between vinyl and out the trunk like tape vinyl versus streaming is there mm-hmm. any like I just love to know the difference? Well, I can that. I can I yeah, can give you insight on that. on that. Well, whereas vinyl and doing things you know straight out of the trunk, it can get you the funds that you wouldn't otherwise get relying on streaming. Mm-hmm. Whereas you would rely wait a month and hopefully acquire enough streams to get you a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You go and stand outside of Walmart or go stand. Um, outside of an event or whatever you're gonna get that in one night you're yeah. gonna get that you're gonna get that in one night you know so for for artists I feel like vinyl and doing it old school is a way to get the funds to where you can invest into your digital image right because the digital image is what makes you soar but the but the on the floor you know, pound ground, Mm -hmm. you know, is where you get the... Got to show up on... I know, I love to say Uh you got to put foot to soil. Yeah, You're not going to know the difference between cities. Um, Mm -hmm. As far as your perception, since you are social media um, and you are marketing uh, per se, Mm -hmm. um, do you feel as though the internet is helping us in society or do you feel like it's hindering us or a little bit of both? Like, how do you feel about it? I feel like the internet, it hinders and it helps. You know, it it has to be regulated, of course. Mm-hmm. It has to be regulated. Um, I don't think it's regulated enough. Um, although, you know, I you know what to put out, you know, based off of what you like, you know. So, I like I I, I like the internet. You know, if you don't look at it from a consumer's perspective then the internet is a great thing. Mm-hmm. You looking at it from the consumer's perspective where you're taking it all in, then you can probably be overwhelmed on what's going right, on. Right, exactly. You know? That's how I feel about it. It's a little overwhelming, but helpful at the same time, you know? Mm-hmm. It's definitely that. And then, um, God, I have this one question. I keep, it's just like sitting on the edge of my brain with him. Um, well, you're young, and you you're, you started this at a time frame where it's needed. So um, I think, oh, this is what I was going to talk to you, the short form versus the long form content, because mm-hmm. you're talking to somebody that used to shoot like two-hour interviews, you know, like yeah. two hours worth of content, yeah. several artists per show, but it, and it's not what people want to watch anymore. You know, mm-hmm. like they just want to watch the cap cut version of a 25 minute interview, which mm-hmm. is essentially what five small minute interviews. Mm-hmm. So how, how do you where do you feel like that fits in? Do people still watch full interviews or are they just watch in short form? It depends on the content. The short the attention span has shortened. I'm I'm uh, even guilty of uh, short attention span. You like know? you don't want to watch anything long. You know, like movies. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll get disinterested in the beginning of it. You know, you can call me a simpleton, but <laughs> hey, I, I didn't. I wouldn't say that. But you know, I feel like, but from a creator's perspective, someone who's putting the content out there, 
I would say um, have the long form content. Um, if it's interesting enough, people will watch it. But you make the reels mm -hmm. with the chop with the, it up. You chop it up. Since the attention span is so short, you know you can get the reels and the shorts going, and the TikToks and the and the and the short form content, which also translates into numbers which can translate into money you know absolutely so. i got my first instagram bonus this year i was like okay you know we getting paid off of youtube you know what i'm saying a couple of hundred dollars you know what i'm saying it's still better than nothing it's still some extra chicken mcnuggets <laughs> to feed baby truth well shout out to um tad battles because he shouted you out several times That's hey shout out my boy man the 209 in the building you yes know, so i was able to play his music for a very influential person and that's what i try to impress upon everybody y'all just don't realize how many rooms i have no, the ox cord in tad uh he got me a job for cml i took a job for uh cml you know what I'm saying? Uh, through through Taz, so shout out to shout out to him. You mm -hmm. know, got got to put my shit out there and 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 take and took the job. It was good. It was nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, shout out, bro, Stockton. You know what I'm saying? He's Much the love. one who got me, um, kind of with the Fly Boys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Fly Boys in Stockton. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a lot of. That's how my name in Stockton, in Stockton specifically, kind of mm -hmm. grew grew. It, you know, because I was already in Oakland messing with Filthy, you know what I'm saying? And then in SAC, I'm already working with most of SAC artists, but I hadn't really focused on Stockton that mm -hmm. much. It would be like little artists, but, you know, through one of the vlogs that Big I did. Big artists. Oh, through mm. one of the humongously <laughs> put that huge thing. artists. <laughs> I, I'll put it, I, I think I got a fly See that? In here. Yeah. that is <laughs> all my tattoos are like uh, about rap or about hip hop. So that one right there is the Speak My Mind tat. That was Lav B. I'm a big fan of him. Of so, Lav? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I kinda, that's kind of like one of the people that I brought into the, we t brought into it together, I'm like looking. jumping this internet shit Shout off. Shout out Manteca, man. Yes. We coming. Like I said before, we, we starting our own music thing going on. I'm going to have my artist, shout out Lil Jordan from Sequoia Block. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ant from Sequoia Block. You know what I'm saying? And you got me from Sequoia Black. So we all coming, and I'm bringing my brothers that you feel me into it. You I know see B saying? Love Jones tuned in there. All right, y'all. Well, much love to you guys for pulling through, and um, you now you know where I'm at. So if you ever need us, um, how can the people out there help to build your business, sir? Man, I can assist. We can assist each other. You know what I'm saying? At the same time as assisting me, you know what I'm saying? Because what I do is for the artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm for the artist, you know, and I'll always continue to be sh for the artist, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Filthy, you know what I'm saying? Feel me really, really help putting my name out there, help put my name out there in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody out the 209, 916, shout out Akbar, you know what I'm saying? Mattress Money. Frosted flavors, you know what I'm saying? And my mind to my own business, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I know Mattress Money. I interviewed mm -hmm. one of their artists. Trail, shout out Trail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we we doing our thing, and we out here working. And you're going to keep seeing us, you know what I'm saying? You're going to keep seeing us, and we're going to keep rising. Me, Akbar, and my people, you're just going to keep seeing it. And it's nothing. And it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a sweet thing to see, you know what I'm saying? A breath of fresh air, you know, for Northern California. Absolutely. That's why you're here tonight. So much love to the collaboration um, and the uh, cross-pollination. We're going to take some pictures, and then um, we're going to get the next guest in here. But much love to Ori Park in the building, uh, KT, Akbar. Much love to the DJ, DJ Eddie Z on the wheels, mm -hmm. Justin Z. We also have the shooter, DJ Sackboy, in the no building. Reason, brother. Yeah, yeah.